Well, for the last week and almost a half, Bandit has been uh, incapacitated because of a cracked pipe. You can see right through here that that is cracked in half. And uh, I'm going to get that welded together today. Uh, the issue came about when this bolt right here came out and I contacted uh, <clears throat> my dealer to try to get it fixed and he said Kimco denied the warranty because it had been past a year so I called Kimco and they explained to me it's a long story but uh, it's not covered under warranty so with the way that break is um, I'm going to get that welded back together and then I'm going to fix once and for all this little bolt that goes through here. I believe the issue is is that it is stripped in one way or another. So if there's enough room on the back side here that I can put some nuts, some Loctite, some lock washers, you name it. Uh, I'm going to put it on there and make sure that it is uh, never going to be an issue again. Okay, so I got her back home and got this plate put back on it with these two screws here. And uh, it pretty much hides the weld. That weld is an ugly weld, but uh, thanks to this, which to me is probably the reason why Kimco puts that on there because they know your pipe's gonna break and we'll have something to cover up the weld when, uh, when it does. So I can see a little bit of it back there. I put some black, uh, spray paint on there that's the uh, high temp for grills 
to kind of uh, keep it from rusting. And tomorrow, I'm gonna head out to Ace Hardware. I talked to the guy that welded the uh, muffler and he said probably the best thing to do for these bolts here is to run a longer bolt out the end and I'm gonna double nut it. I'm gonna lock washer it and I'm gonna put Loctite on it uh, just to make sure that uh, I have no issues again with that bolt. <clears throat> what I got is two new longer bolts and I'm gonna put a washer on the near side and a washer and a nut on the near side or the far side and also uh, use some Loctite. So we'll show you what that looks like when I get done. The job is done. We'll let her sit overnight. You see the new screw there and the new, actually new bolt and new bolt there. Um, I failed to mention a minute ago that they were, uh, they are stainless steel bolts and nuts. So uh, that way I hopefully don't have any rust issues. Um, you can see how I did this one here. I got the bolt going through. I got a lock washer and I got a nut and I've also got uh, blue thread locker on there, lock tight, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I put it on the threads for the nut and after I got it all tightened down I just slathered a little bit uh, over the top of it just to give it uh, some extra, extra pole power. And then on the bottom here you can see um, this one is just apparently a little bit wider and so I didn't have enough room to put a, uh, a washer, lock washer on there. So I just got the nut and some uh, thread locker on there. So we'll see how this holds. As far as I'm concerned it should be uh, good for the duration. Thanks for watching.